If you like what you see here, please donate to ModernPagan.tv. Just go to our website, www.ModernPagan.tv, and look for the Donate button. We appreciate your contributions to keep ModernPagan.tv on the air and on the Internet. And now, back to live ModernPagan.tv. I want to talk just for a few minutes. I have a little YouTube video clip I want people to see. This is just so outrageous to me. Um, you know, I grew up on a farm. You know, I grew up on my grandmother's farm. And, and it was basic. it was a family farm. So we weren't selling anything to anybody else. But, but in Lopez Island in Washington State, um, the Jones family has the Jones family farm. And they, for the last two and a half years, they've had this little, on their property, not, not on the side of the road, not on a county road, not anywhere public, on their property, they've had a little building, I'm going to call it a shack because actually, to be honest, it looks like a shack. Okay. And in there, they've had uh, fish that they've caught, vegetables that they've grown organically on their land grass-fed meats that have all been processed and packaged. Mm -hmm. And the thing that I think is so awesome about this is that is that they don't have like a cashier. They have an honor system. They have oh. they have a cash box and you go in and you get something off the shelf, or you get something out of the refrigerator, you get something out of the freezer and you just put your money in the cash box. I mean, oh. like how cool is that? That is. That is really cool. Yeah. They have never in two and a half years they've never been ripped off. Wow. And they invite people in to... And it's just, it's it's sitting on their land. You just drive in, you know, you park and you go in and you shop and you leave your money. Yeah, that's well, that's what you it. used to do. Mm -hmm. It's what you used to do. Yeah. The older times. When it the was... older times was like last month. <laughs> Actually, it was in November. And for two and a half years, um, th this happened. And then the state of Washington came in and said, oh, we can't have anything like that. Oh, no, 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 no. And why is that? I, well, we're going to find out because we have this little video clip. But but for two and a half years, and, and let me say that most states, including Colorado and Washington State, have a law that clearly states that a farmer can sell their produce on their property. And they're yeah. following the law. And they're following the law. That's the letter of the law. So, but apparently that wasn't enough for Washington State. So if we have our little YouTube video clip, could we play that, please, and see if you're as outraged about this as I am? Lopez Island residents Nick and Sarah Jones have operated an organic farm for the past two years. Customers have used a cash box and the honor system to purchase seafood and beef from a small farm stand near the road. The Jones family farm was running smoothly until two weeks ago when Nick received a letter from San Juan County. The county wants Nick to upgrade his stand to comply with commercial building codes, including upgrading handicap access. Nick estimates the commercial upgrades to cost approximately $25,000. And as a commercial building, it's subject to commercial code, which means wheelchair ramps, it means all sorts of expensive upgrades. And then they refuse to tell us specifically what we would need to do in order to, to upgrade. And, um, and we, we just decided we can't sign a blank check. And they said, well, apply for a permit, pay the fee, and then, and then you know, we'll tell you what, what you need to do within that. Uh, we did some research on it. We talked to some contractor friends about what it would, what, what it would entail. We came up with an estimate of somewhere in the $25,000 range and said we can't do this. This is, this is too much. The issues facing Nick and his farm stand have raised concerns from local residents. The issues that uh, Nick and Sarah are up against are issues that I'm concerned about. As a 30-year city manager, uh, I'm believing this county's gotten a little out of hand and uh, overbearing in their enforcement aspects and their fairness on how it's applied. And uh, the issues that I'm beginning to look at is the issue of how much commercial is commercial and what's the problem with Nick's property. Nick wants the county to look at common sense solutions 
rather than blindly enforcing strict commercial codes. Um, you know, we would love, for instance, the option to put up a little sign outside saying, handicapped, call 0533, which is our telephone number, we will come and serve you. In our minds, that, that's a reasonable outcome. As opposed to saying, you know, we need to uh, jump through their hoops on their, on their schedule with our time and our money. It just doesn't work. Nick says he is concerned about the safety of his customers, and doesn't need the county to tell him what to do. As operators of the farm and owners of the business, the last thing we're going to do is, is put anybody's health or safety at risk when they walk into our farm stand. And the idea that jumping through a bunch of hoops, spending a bunch of money, and engaging in a bureaucratic process is going to improve that is just ridiculous. According to Nick and others, these commercial rules may apply to other small businesses as well. Well, according to the planning department staff, uh, in their interpretation, every artist studio would be subject to this, every home church, any time there is any sort of public invitation, be it a sandwich board on the road, a notice in the paper, a Bible study group that goes out in the paper, that those folks would be subject, anybody that does that is subject to a commercial permit. Given the approach that farm stands, if, if that's what they want to call this, have to meet a commercial building code, then yes, there would be a lot of people who couldn't meet it. We have, we have artists uh, where the public is invited in. Uh, we have probably churches on island that don't meet totally the, the code. The enforcement aspect is a little bit heavy-handed from that aspect. I see nothing wrong with what they've done here, and as a city manager of past, I, I would not have had a problem with this. Nick feels he should be able to sell the food he produces without these restrictions. Imposition on our right or anybody's right to sell what they produce off of their own property. I mean, to, to require us to come up to the to the standards of a of a restaurant or a, a full service grocery store or a motel, it's cost prohibitive, and that's all it is. And I think about you know subsequent generations of people going into farming. There's just more and more and more barriers, more and more and more problems, and you know every time you you every time they impose another level of restrictions on us, it's just that much harder to, to get going. Nick feels that local and state government is taking an adversarial posture towards small businesses like his. And increasingly, it seems like our state and local governments in particular are taking a very adversarial posture towards us and other people in our position. And you start wondering, why are we bothering? Why are we beating ourselves up to produce food, make land productive, employ people, and pay taxes? And you know, just in order to, to fund the harassment of us and people like us. It's San Juan County has harassed Nick and Sarah Jones to the point where they have finally given up. What has happened to their small retail farm stand? Thanks to the San Juan County Council, they are closed. All right, so that's it. I mean, you know, you, the government says all the time, you know, we support family farms, supports, you know. So many things have been changing with the government yeah. encroaching on so many of our human rights, the normal things that yeah. we've been used to in this yeah. country. Yeah. Um, I, I have a lot of opinion on those. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, don't hold back on my account. <laughs> you know, let it rip. Now, the government is encroaching on too many of the rights in all areas, in yes. food, food safety. Oh, yeah. They're trying to encroach yeah. on yeah. Uh, yeah. natural foods and health foods and the stores. The entire the nation of India is suing Monsanto. Oh, yeah. I love it. There's a video on uh, 11-year-old child is on uh, on a YouTube um, chastising Monsanto. I know, I know. You saw that it. one? Yeah, Boy, that's that getting one. viral. Yeah, good, and it should. And it should, it should. because yeah. he's saying the right yeah. things. It's right. Yeah. It's absolutely correct.